Hey everyone, Redneck Brian here. Quick update on uh, just about everything. First off, as you can see, the uh, one tractor's gone. My uh, loser stalker, Mike Hunt, or what I like to call him, Mike Cunt, asked in a comment, uh, what's the, what do I mean by my bottom line? If you've ever sold anything in your life for a profit, you'll know what your bottom line means. Basically, this loser doesn't know, this loser doesn't know anything. So let me explain to you bottom line. The bottom line is the price you need to get out of something to make a profit. With that uh, Craftsman tractor, my bottom line price on that tractor, what I would only let it go for, is right around 250 to 280. I got quite a bit more than that because I was offering it for for a maximum of 500. Then I reduced it to 450. Then I got a good enough offer, which I'm not going to tell you which I got, and I took that offer. So I got above my bottom line price. So Mike, bottom line is what you got to get out of something to make a profit. Look it up. So anyways, I made a video of this uh, Green Craftsman. I decided not to upload it. It wasn't very good. Um, this thing has no speed. Being a Hydro, it's, uh, it's expected to have a little bit of speed, but uh, this thing did absolutely terrible. Uh, the Hydro is is shot on this thing as far as I can tell um, so Shania is getting into trouble I don't know what she's getting into she's playing with her wheel or she hit Emily with her wheel so Shania is a bit of a stinker anyways back to my video and she's grabbing her wheel again so I'm just going to yank the transmission I'm not even going to bother uploading the video of me driving this it's not really worth it so I was thinking about doing what uh, Redneck Computer Geek did with his Hydro Racer and doing something like that to this, but um, I have this Hydro here, which, like I said, it's not the greatest Hydro in the world. It's on its way out. I have another Hydro that's identical right there that came out of the One Pug Tractor, but I don't know the history on it. It may be a good Hydro. It may not be a good Hydro. That tractor originally had a plow on it, so... You never know. It it could be shot as well. It worked. Yes, it worked in the tractor when I first got the tractor and I drove it around a bit, but I don't know the full history on that hydro unit. So I'm just going to pull out the hydro. I'm going to put uh, this uh, six speed in. I believe it's a MST 206. I believe that's what it is. I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know the tractor I sold had a Peerless. I actually had a good peerless. It would be a good uh, peerless to use for a racing tractor that didn't have that um, extra length uh, shifting rod. So, anyways, uh, my idea on this for the shifter, if I can't make that stock shifter work with the hydro, which I'll be able to physically make it work, but the bracket's on the wrong side. The actual shifting bracket's on the wrong side. I'm going to either cut it off and slide it over, just, just cut the welds and re-weld it, or I'm going to try and adapt a shifter rod. That's what I'm going to do first. Try to adapt the shifter rod to go over from the, I believe it's on the right. And this needs it on the left. So I'll try to run the rod over and make it work. Actually, I can tell you exactly what side it's on. Sorry, this one's on the right and I need it on the left. So anyways, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, some people are saying my videos have been quiet. I have no idea. What could be going on with that? I'm still using my phone. I got to do a video test with my phone. My, uh, I believe it's a JVC um, handheld video camera and my new camcorder. Or sorry, my a JVC camcorder and my new uh, digital camera that I got in that computer deal. I'd like to do a test video with that and my phone and basically see what's better. Most likely my uh, new camera will be better. I believe it's Nokia. So... That's uh, pretty much it on this. Uh, I'm going to pull it over to the chopping block. I'm going to drive it, actually, and uh, get the rear end pulled. I'm going to put this rear end in there just so I can figure out where everything's lining up and uh, go from there. And if, if it's going to work out the way I hope it will, I'll make a video. If not, I still might make a video. And also, quick update on, I believe it's 26 horse, uh, this V-twin here. I would like to actually get this engine put back together this weekend. No guarantees that's actually going to happen, but uh, 
I'd like to put this engine back together. It's still sitting here. Uh, the flywheel's taken apart. There's the flywheel right there. Hopefully the flywheel's not damaged. It's been sitting out in the sun for a while. It's been covered up a little bit, but uh, it's been sitting out. Um, I don't want to have happen uh, what Murray Mayhem had happen on that uh, Kohler engine he had when the flywheel exploded. So that should be okay, though. That one hasn't been sitting out overly much. But I uh, would like to put this back together, uh, get some gas, see if its uh, fuel pump actually works, see if the carburetor is good, and uh, see if it will run on its own without having to spray uh, quick start or carb cleaner down the throat of the carburetor and see how it really sounds and make sure it's not knocking or anything. Um, so when you spray uh, ether or quick start, whatever you want to call it, or even um, a carb cleaner into an engine, you can make them knock quite easy. So hey, that's uh, so that's pretty much it on that. Uh, Shania is getting in trouble again with her wheel. Yes, the dog plays with lawnmower wheels. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. It's one thing I don't like about the phone. It's sometimes a pain in the butt to zoom in. She plays with lawnmower wheels. Heck, she uh, hits Emily with them. So, again, that's uh, pretty much it. So, I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.